Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage, and this goes out to uh, for a special request on how to mount a plow. Um, I got a couple different plows. You got the uh, moose plow, and uh, this is kind of important if you're going to make brackets or you're going to find a mounting bracket. Distance between there, and I believe this is a Polaris plow, and these are always wider. Uh, actually, I like these better. They're a little more stable when you're pushing snow. This tends to rock back a little bit. But. So here I got a couple different style mounting plates for the plow. Uh, this is off an older model, like a 94. And uh, you can see these tabs right here that go right into uh, where the end of the plow mounts in. This is like for the wider one I showed you, the Polaris style. And this one would be like for the moose plow, or um, I always forget the, the name of the other one. This one looks like a homemade jobby. I'm not sure what this fits to, but it's just like pipes welded up. And it bolts on underneath. And you have your uh, singular style. Uh, they mount on each side and they're adjustable, which is kind of nice. So you can move it in and out, depending on what kind of plow you have. And uh, there's nothing really to mounting it. If you want to take a good look at that bracket. And those usually go towards the front. Like the front footboard. Right about here. You want those little nubbies right. I can say about right there. And the rest is pretty easy. You just take some U brackets. And you put the plate up and uh, you mount them up. And Kind of depends uh, what year Polaris you have. Um, I've actually gone to the point where I got an old uh, plow mount and I actually had to drill holes through it to make it line up with these uh, these footboards. So you kind of got to do what you got to do. Um, and depending on what style, I mean, if this was metal, I, I could always drill into there and put a bolt in there and there. Um, just got to be a little creative about it. So I'm using this mounting plate. This is like a universal. It's got all these holes drilled into it. So I should be able to put that up. There's a liner up out in that hole. And then do the same thing on the other side and bolt it up. And then on the other end of the plow, there's usually some kind of bracket where you hook the, the wench up to and it lifts up and down. You also wanna remember safety first. This. Uh, Plow mount, it is pretty heavy. I won't say heavy, but uh, if you're trying to hold it up and get these lined up. It can be a little bit of a hassle, so I like to use a jack, hold it up, and then I'll have to line up the other side, see how that lines up. Yeah, like I said, you know, they line right up. I, I got a universal plate, so there's a bunch of holes in here. This one's a nice, easy one for me. But, uh, like I said, you might have to drill holes to uh, get them to match. Now let's take a peek at the other side. And I got lucky with this one. Normally I have to drill holes. This actually lined up really nice. It's right over the footboard like that. A footboard peg, whatever you want to call this. Bracket. And then just cinch them up. And you can see where that'll go. All right, I got everything tied up here. Now for the fun part, you got to get these lined up. And uh, they do make like uh, quick connects that go in here. Uh, I just happen to have a, a nut and bolt for now that I'm gonna throw in there. But what I'm doing is, even though I'm on a lift, if you're doing this on the ground, I'm using the winch for leverage to kind of line everything up. So this, the weight is taken off of here a little bit and it makes it a little easier to uh, get them bolts in. So work. Smarter, not harder, that's what I always say. I got everything bolted up and then uh, one side slid right in. The other side, I just kind of grabbed the pry bar and pried up on it. Got the hole lined up. Now she's ready to go, got her all hooked up. There we got her. All done. Took me about 15 minutes to do this. If you have to drill holes, it might take longer. But 
at least you guys can now see how a plow is mounted and the, the mounting brackets and how they all work. Hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And like always, till next time.